Hello, everybody. Hey. <laughs> we are simply A to Z. And this is our May favorites. <laughs> it's so okay. quiet and awkward, <laughs> but it was so good. <laughs> and then we can just start the May favorites. Okay, so first we're going to start off with our fashion favorites, which are clothes and shoes. And um, I guess I will start. Uh, we have a couple things that are different and then a couple things that are the same. So my first fashion favorite for May would be this shirt. Um, I bought it from H&M, Zoe was with mm -hmm. me. Uh, I was really surprised. It was like $35, $40, um, but it was so, so worth it. I get so many compliments when I wear this, and it's fantastic because I can wear like a new color bra underneath it, or a shirt, um, or you can wear it over top of things, you can layer, and I just, I love it. It's, it's really pretty. <laughs> okay, on to mine. <sighs> I've been eyeing these for so long, my black Birkenstock sandals, the, I think they're called the Arizonas. Um, I've seen them, uh, a lot of like advertisements for them, they're very in the summer, but I just love them, they're so comfortable. You have to wear them in, like when I wear them they squeak a little they bit. They fart. Yeah. Um, but they're awesome and they go with everything, so that's why I'm including them. Now we will do uh, one of our things that are the same. Let's grab them. Okay. Okay. Uh, just a heads up, mine are really dirty. <laughs> uh, I should not have gotten this color, but they are the Nike Rocha Runs. Rocha Runs. I say Roshas, I don't know. Or Roshas. <laughs> Rocha, uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but they're these ones. They've got like the big heel, mm -hmm. and um, Zoe's are made of a different material. Yeah, hers are more mesh, and mine are, I think, like a suede. Yeah. Yeah. I'm jealous, though. I actually originally wanted to get the dark purple, and they had like a turquoisey, minty sort of color trim. They did not have them in my size, and I really wanted them in a proper size. But I love these, I just have to clean them. I should have <laughs> done that before we filmed this. <laughs> um, I got these at SVP Sports on Queen Street, and they were an amazing price. These are actually kids' sizes. It was great, and I love the color, the like, I call them like my green slime roaches. <laughs> and they're so comfy, and they add height, so that's always good. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I got mine a Foot Locker. Uh, actually, I'm really jealous because mine were more than twice the price of hers, which... I could have gotten two pairs for yeah. the same price. So seriously, people, don't just buy them right away. Look for a deal. Yeah, search around first. The next thing that we have that the same are boots. Awesome boots. Boots! Do you want to talk about yours? Sure. Okay, so I got mine at Topshop on sale, which is amazing. And they're like a really badass motorcycle engineer boot. A little booties, like ankle boots. And you have to wear them in, and I have, as you can see, they're nice and creased. Stressed. Yeah. And they're they're just awesome. And they, they add like a nice hard edge to any outfit, so yeah. Uh, mine I actually only got last weekend with Zoe. We were in Urban Outfitters and it was crazy. I had seen someone wearing these only a couple days before and thought they were amazing. And there were two pairs left. One of them was in like a size 10 and my feet are not a size 10. Um, and then there was one in a seven and a half and I was like, ah, ding, 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 ding. I need these. It was meant to be. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's cut out at the back and they have this really, really cool ankle strap. But they're pretty comfortable now. I wear little cut-off toe socks with them because you can see any socks in the back. But yeah. So next we're going to talk about our beauty favorites. You want to yeah. start? Sure. I'm just going to talk about three things that I'm sort of putting together. Uh, and they are all Rimmel products. I love Rimmel. I do not have the money for non-drugstore uh, beauty products yet, but I find that Rimmel just works for me. So I have the whole set. Um, I have their Stay Matte Foundation in 091 Light Ivory. And then I have the Stay Matte um, Powder. The one thing I do not like about this line, um, they are the same line, but the colors are not the same. So. They have less powders, and I had to get someone to help me match them because I just I was going to make a mess of it. And then I have their um, Hide the Blemish Concealer as well, which is it looks like a lipstick. The only thing I don't like about this is that it there's not much in the in the, the packaging, and I just like I need more. It runs out quite quickly. But yeah, that's that's one of my beauty favorites. Okay. Up next, I chose a nail polish, which I currently have on my nails right now. 
and it's this beautiful turquoise ocean aqua color from Urban Outfitters. Only six bucks and it is called Flip Flop. Um, so yeah, it's my favorite color, turquoise, and it's so summery. I love it. There you go. I also have two nail polishes. Um, so, funny story, should we tell them where we got these? Oh, yes. We have to. Secret. Uh, this is a secret for all you Toronto people. The dollar store. It's crazy. No words. And amazing. You would not believe it. Zoe told me about it. You go to the dollar store, and they have... Revlon, Sally Hansen, and Nicole by OPI. Just they're like they're like two dollars, two fifty. It's ridiculous, and they're not always in the season's colors, but they're great. Uh, so Zoe has this one too. She showed it to me. I complimented her. Um, it is number nine one one. Pink chiffon. Sh chiffon. Wait, chiffon. I can never figure out how to say chiffin. that word. Chiffon. Chiffin. We're just gonna call it that. <laughs> this one, which I'm wearing on my nails right now, it is number 090 in Sorbet. Uh, it's Revlon Color Stay. The other one is Revlon. It is the coolest color ever. My last beauty favorite is my uh, Got To Be Dry Shampoo. Uh, as I said before, I do not have enough money to buy the fancy brands, um, but this one works so, 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 so well. I love it. Uh, I have short hair. It gets greasy often because I touch it. Um, this also brings volume to it, and I like it to push my hair up, and it just, it's so nice. Um, this smell is not too strong. I bought this on sale for $4. Um, it works well. I don't mind the smell. I mean, I don't like strong scents very much, but it's just fantastic. Yes. I'm going to add in this lifesaver. Um, it's the, the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula. It says it softens and relieves rough, dry skin. And it does way more than that. So basically, it's just a cocoa, it's like a butter, a body butter. And it just makes your skin feel so soft. And it smells like chocolate. It's so nice. Um, but yeah, it's great. It, it gets a little greasy, but it soaks in very fast and just softens up any dry patches. So very helpful. It smells so good. Next off we have our accessory favorites. And I'm going to start off with this purse I picked up <laughs> at Public Butter. It's a Louis Vuitton old, I'd have to say doctor's bag because <laughs> yeah, it's it's really cool. It it uh, opens up kind of like this. I've been eyeing this in the vintage store for a very long time and I decided oh, I'll just get it and I did and I'm so happy um, and whatever I wear I just feel so put together and chic and yeah that's why it's a favorite of mine. <laughs> I also have a bag favorite it's not as nearly as expensive <laughs> um, or uh, tasteful as always but uh, it's just kind of random. Um, so when I bought my boots at Urban Outfitters uh, they give you these cool bags to put them in, uh, and this one, sorry, it's kind of like mushed out of shape. It is so weird. Okay. It has like an Elmo thing, an ostrich, and it says get sums. I don't know why it's so hilarious, <laughs> but I love it. It's perfect for toting my things around in, um, especially at the end of school. I have to carry a lot of stuff, and it's, I just love it so much. It's weird. And lastly, I have this wonderful... Oh, so beautiful little purse um, pouch made by Annabelle herself. Wonderful sewing. Um, and it's this very like wallpaper esque peach fabric and a hot pink accent zipper, which is amazing. It goes perfectly. And a nice orange uh, inside. And it's, I keep everything in it. Just things I need to take to school, I just throw it in, zip it up, and put it in my backpack, and it's so handy. Thank you. <laughs> just a side note on that, um, I purchased the fabric at The Workroom, which for those of you who don't know, it's a store in Toronto, it's on Queen and Queen and Brock. Uh, fabulous little store, really nice fabric. And the, uh, the zipper I got from the Leather and Supply Depot, which has now moved to Spadina, but it's fantastic for zippers, so many, you just have to search. That's great. Uh, and my last 
um, accessory favorite, it would be my Fossil Wallet. Um, I love using this because I bought it with my own money, which I worked for. Over my break, I worked at a camp, um, fashion camp. <laughs> I taught kids how to sew, it was fun. Um, <laughs> And I bought this with the money that I earned. My uh, old wallet, a fake Lacoste wallet, was looking really trashy. It was just falling apart and there's bits coming off. It's terrible. Um, yeah, so it's just like a really nice dark blue color with a brassy zipper. It's got a little change purse pocket. Uh, but the thing I really like about it is you open it up and it's like BAM! It's mauve. Mauve, lilac, lavender. I love it. It's got like pockets for all my cards. It's got pockets for my money and stuff, and it's just, I get such a sense of pride when I use it. It's great. Definitely a good investment. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, this all. Anyways, I have been looking for a candle for a very long time because it just brings life to your room, it makes your room smell amazing. So, I was in Urban Outfitters, and I spotted this because I love the color once again, it's blue and great wooden lid it's just it looks good and it smells really good yeah so it's called mystical tide 60 hours of illumination and it's pretty much like a fresh by the seaside kind of yeah cool scent i don't know how else to describe it and i burn it and it just fills my room with this amazing smell and yeah it's great i love it <laughs> Still looking to bring a candle myself. The YouTubers have to have their candles. I actually forgot this for accessories. Um, this is a bracelet that I got for my aunt for my birthday. Um, I'm just going to bring it closer so you can see it. It is a uh, brass sort of uh, bangle that you slide onto your wrist. And it has um, uh, fool's gold with a crystal set into it. And it just, I love it. It doesn't make my hand itchy where I sometimes get uh, sensitive to metals. Um, and it just works well with any outfit. It's, it's just chic and sweet. So our next category in our May favorites was what we are going to call media, which is going to include books, movies, and music. Uh, and I will start with something that is sort of both of our favorites in the movie and book category. <laughs> We are a little late to catch on to the trend, just a little bit, um, but Divergent, oh my goodness. Uh, I saw the movie uh, like the weekend it came out and thought it was fantastic, it was so, 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 so good, but I hadn't read the book, and so I took Zoe to see the movie um, only last weekend. Yes. Uh, I'm so glad she introduced me to it. Um, yeah, I saw it, and it's the kind of movie that gives you like goosebumps in a good way, it was very intense, and... It was just spectacular. I loved it. How little romance. Oh. Four is just like, <gasps> yeah, oh, bring it together. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> to put it lightly. <laughs> uh, but uh, so after I saw the movie, I was inspired to read the book. So I ordered the series off Amazon, and uh, I read the first book in a couple days, and I'm halfway through the more than halfway, more than halfway through the second, and it's really good. And they're they're fantastic. I I'm actually conflicted about which I like more, and that's terrible. I know because books are supposed to always be better. Um, uh, but I just I just saw the movie first, and I really liked it, so I don't know. But they're both fantastic, and I know that for sure. On the topic of movies, um, we also went to see the comedy Neighbors. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just think that just makes me like. So I don't know if we can say very much about it because it would be X-rated. R yeah. <laughs> X-rated is not a thing. R-rated. It's kind of appropriate. But yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I, I peed my pants a little. In it. Yeah. It's pure hilarity. <laughs> Zac Efron got hot. Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know, after High School Musical, um, there's a whole rage about him, but he wasn't a very good actor, but now he's good. He's great for comedies. He's great. Oh, it was so funny. Yeah. That's yeah. enough said about that one. Yeah, enough said. I'm going to move on to my book called The Book Thief, and excuse all my notes and little sticky notes, but I chose to do this book for school, and this is actually the second time I've read it. And it's one of those books you can read it over and over again. And it just gets better and better because you realize. And um, 
learn new things each time you read it and it's so deep and I cry in it, I laugh and I, I, it makes me think and that's how you know it's an, it's an amazing book so you guys should definitely read it. And I have one more book. Um, okay. Some of you will probably be fans of the series, you will know what I'm talking about when I say this it was incredible. Um, but I actually started reading this series in grade 6. I was one of the original fans, which I'm secretly proud of. <laughs> um, but this has been so long anticipated. It was... I'm not sure if I really like it just because it's another book in the series. It's the final book in the series. Um, or if the writing was... I mean, the story is fantastic. It was so, 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 so good. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, I think Cassandra Clare has gotten just a little bit... Like, some of the talk between um, all the, the characters in the beginning, it's just, it's kind of, like, boring. It's not boring, but it's just too fake. I don't know, it just, it seems kind of, like, teenager-y. I don't know. I can't really explain it. But as the book goes on, the story, what things have the things that happen are just crazy, and it's amazing. The love story, and, like, Alec and Magnus, and it's just... It was a very, very good ending to the series, in my opinion, and I cannot wait for her new series, which is coming out, um, which happens after this one does. So excited. So excited. And I also have a movie here that I watched. My mom introduced me to it. I, Wes Anderson was amazing. Um, it's called The Darjeeling Limited with Owen Wilson, Adrian Brody, and Jason Schwartzman. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a very visual movie, and the music is great. Um, I'm not going to explain the whole movie. You guys should just go out and see it. Um, I also have the soundtrack to it because I love the music so much. Um, and it's very exciting, and like I said, it, you just you love to look at it. It's, there's not a ton of dialogue, um, but visually it's amazing. And yeah, it's I love it so much. Uh, so that was books and that was movies and now music. Um I'm kind of lame on the music front. I like yeah, okay, I realize I'm really lame on the music front front. Um I only have 16 gigs on my phone. Um and I have a lot of apps, so I don't put much music on there and I also just don't buy off iTunes and I'm lazy about downloading. So I have like six songs on my phone, they're all really lame. I listen to the radio, or I put on Songza. I know people talk about Spotify, but I'm like, I do not want to spend, I'm cheap. Um, so I use Songza. I, when I'm on there, I will listen to most often the mellow indie, the indie rock, um, and, uh, it's kind of sad, the country music. I like no. the country music. <laughs> yeah, so it's country music. Um, but I, I don't really have like specific songs that I like. Goodbye, everybody, and that was our May favorites. Get